Hello everyone and welcome to another video. It's Thursday and you know GeForce Now is dropping another batch of new games. So I just want to go over some stuff here on the service if you're not familiar. I follow just about everything that happens with GeForce Now and other cloud gaming services including Stadia, uh, Shadow Cloud PC, uh, PS Now and things like that. xCloud when it comes out of beta and more available I'll add to the channel as well. GeForce Now is a big one though. I love GeForce Now and I love Shadow so I cover them a lot here on the channel. And um... They've had a rocky uh, go of it since they left beta, and there's a lot of news about GeForce Now on the channel, so if you want to get caught up, you can always go back and check out those videos. I've pretty much covered everything since they left the beta stage. So let's get into this article, and then we will go check this out running on the uh, Lenovo IdeaPad 5 and see how it works there. It just seems to work a lot better than on my other laptops that I've had in the past. So GeForce Now library adds 18 games, including Super Mega Baseball 3. The GeForce Now library just received another substantial update with 18 new games available uh, for users of the cloud streaming service now these a lot of them are older games there's only a couple like newer ones that's kind of been the way of it but at least they're continuing to keep the promise of bringing more and more games to the service and as a lot of new games launch even like cyberpunk and some other ones they are already guaranteed to be on the service day one uh, with ray tracing so i believe this service is going to continue to grow even if they never get back games like Call of Duty or Activision or whatever. But with that being said, let's check out the list. We've got Adam RPG, uh, True to Grad, Super Mega Baseball 3, which is a newer game, Avon Colony, Battlestar Galactica, Bomber Crew, Child or Children of Morta, um, Dango Rampa V3 Killing Harmony, I hope I said that right, Dead Island, Riptide Definitive Edition, The Legend of Heroes, Europa Universalis 3, Goat Simulator, The King of Fighters, Kingdom New Lands, Men of War, Assault Squad, Party Hard, Risen 2, Surgeon Simulator, and The Wild 8. Um, there are some solid games in this list of uh, additional GeForce Now games, although they're mostly old ones. The exceptions are, of course, Super Mega Baseball 3 and the post-apocalyptic Atom RPG True to Grad, which is a, an expansion to that game, uh, actually. So... These are a couple of great additions to the service, and uh, another batch of games dropped, and I'm sure next Thursday and the following, so they are keeping that promise. Hopefully, they will continue to get um, a lot of good games on the service. So this has been running really, really great on my Lenovo IdeaPad 5 that I've been testing here on the channel. I've been using GeForce Now for a couple nights on it. It just seems to run the service so much better than my older laptops. I thought I would show it here this week with the GeForce News, uh, how it's running, a little bit about the settings, the latency, and stuff like that. It feels a lot quicker, more solid, and I get a lot less connection issues with this laptop. I don't know if it's the better Wi-Fi, the processor, the Ryzen, what the deal is, but it just runs a lot better on this laptop. So we'll jump over. We're going to take a look at control with uh, ray tracing and all that kind of stuff going on the uh, Lenovo. I didn't screen cap it. I just filmed the laptop so you can see, kind of see it there. And I also do like a quick little comparison to my uh, little bit more saturated or color accurate monitor versus that display so that you can see a little bit more. I know a lot of people want to see what this display looks like on the Lenovo and it's really hard to show with the cameras I have. But anyway, let's jump over there and take a look at that stuff. All right, so for those of you who are interested, before we go take a look at GeForce Now, I wanted to show you a little bit more of the screen. You're asking a lot about the accuracy of this screen. On the Lenovo IdeaPad, the model I have is like the middle road. It's not the worst, and it's not the 100% sRGB. It's about 64, 65, something like that. Now, the panel I have behind there, the MSI Mag, is in the 90s. It's supposed to be like something like 96% um, or so accurate right out of the box, and it's pretty darn good. I've not had to adjust them a lot. Um, to get these pretty nice. Now, I'm not saying I'm 100% I'm on anything here, but if you look at the colors, you can see that the Lenovo, for me, is passable for most things. You're not going to use it for heavy editing, but it's passable, and you can see the color differences. Go back and check this clip out a few times and compare it, and you'll see in the blues um, and things like that, you're going to see the difference, but I just thought that was a decent comparison. So let's open up GeForce now, and we're going to take a look in here 
at what's going on. Now before we launch control, I'm just going to show you some stuff in the settings real quick. Uh, in case you're not familiar with GeForce Now or you haven't been following the channel, uh, you'll get a little bit more idea for the service. Now this has been working fantastic on this Lenovo IdeaPad 5 with the AMD Ryzen 4500U. This uh, It's actually been working better on this laptop than it has on any of my other laptops for sure, for whatever reason, and it always works great on my desktops. What I want to do here is show you, I leave the server location on auto and do a test network. I'm only doing this because I want to show you the numbers that NVIDIA puts out there. They didn't used to show these, I don't believe. So after your test, it's going to show you what you test at, what they um, recommend, and then like the worst case scenario. Um, and I want to show you that because honestly, their recommendations aren't that strict and I would imagine if you uh, had the worst case scenario it would be pretty laggy but um, we'll go ahead and let this play out in real time here and you can take a look so like I said the service has been working great on this uh, laptop the best I've had it as far as mobile goes um, and then I use this service on my iPhone through shadow PC because Apple has banned all the cloud services but shadow is now back on iPhone as you would know uh, if you're watching the uh, videos on the channel so you can now play this on your iPhone so here we go I'm gonna zoom in and we're gonna take a look at these numbers so the measured is my connection the required and then the recommended so I measured uh, bandwidth uh, is uh, greater than 50 I'm about 350 required 15 recommended 50 frame loss none uh, recommended 2.0 uh, or required and recommended 0.5 latency I hit 23 I'm usually 16 to 25 required 80 and recommended 40 so there you have it for those numbers there um, I just wanted you to be able to see that in case you're not familiar and then the only other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go into settings I'm not gonna stay balanced since I especially with a decent connection I'm gonna leave the bitrate alone but I want to stay 1080p 60 so I don't want it to adjust for any network conditions and I'm gonna leave VSync on for now it works really good in this game so or at least on this panel on this laptop so we'll click play Again, I'm going to let this play out real time so you can see how it's working on the laptop and also if you're not familiar with the service. Now this test here is a really quick one because we've already done a test. It already knows we're connected. It's just checking and then it's going to load up. Now I did have to re-sign into the Epic Game Store here. Uh, I don't normally have to do that, but there was a big update today for, this, for the launcher. And also GTA 5 is free today on Epic, so they've been crashing and having all kinds of problems. So I do have to do a quick sign in here, but then we'll be able to launch... Uh, right into the game. It only takes a second. Alright, so we're loading up into control. I just chose this game for the heck of it um, to, uh, to throw it out there. It's also a ray tracing supported game. So the free version, you don't get ray tracing, um, but with the paid $5 a month version of GeForce Now, you get ray tracing and you now also get DLSS 2.0, which is fantastic technology that goes along with the RTX cards. So if you're paying for the $5 a month service, um, you can do ray tracing in quite a few games right now. And I think it's going to be great when games like Cyberpunk 2077 come out and they're already guaranteed to launch with full ray tracing support uh, on GeForce now. So it might be a great way for a lot of people to play that. Now on this screen, this camera doesn't do it justice, but you could probably see even there on the logo screen or the, the first uh, intro screen there, there is like no backlight bleeding on this panel. I'm pretty impressed and have been. I use dark rooms a lot uh, at night and everything, and um, I've been really impressed with the lack of light bleed and blooming and issues uh, with this display. The camera doesn't do it justice at all. This looks so much better in person, but uh, I just want you to be aware that me personally, on my model anyway, um, I'm not having any screen uniformity issues. I'm not having any backlight bleed issues, none in the corners, no flash lighting, none of that stuff, because I hate all of that. I'll return things quickly if I have too much too much flashlighting or backlight bleed so um, no issues for me on this panel so far so ray tracing high we'll just leave all this uh, you can't tick these if you have the free version it's not gonna let you it's not gonna work anyway so uh, we'll just leave it as is we don't need to use DLSS right now we're just gonna hop into the game it's not even about the graphics I just want you to see um, the game running, seeing that it's not really stuttery, seeing that the stream's working good, seeing that the laptop is handling it good. I know a lot of you are interested in this laptop and in this processor, and also a lot of you are interested in GeForce Now and services like it, like uh, Stadia, PS Now, Shadow Cloud PC, and things like that. So I'll be getting leaning heavier and heavier into those services and these devices as we uh, try to grow here on the channel. 
All right, so we're in here. This is just a place I happen to leave off on one of my saves, testing the game before, and I will. Uh, I'll just do some running around here. We'll shoot some stuff. Um, you might see some stutters here and there, but that's not the stream control, um, especially with the graphics cranked up, has always had a little bit of optimization issues. However, they've straightened out a ton of them. Um, but I will say this game actually runs better for me on GeForce Now than it does on my RTX 2060 most of the time. Um, if you if you played this game, um, no matter what graphics card you have, you know, you know that this game is uh, a bear to run. But anyway, GeForce Now handles it great. The stream is really nice. The stream is really smooth. No issues for me. 1080p 60. And this is why I like to set to where it can't auto change because even if I get some weird dip in my internet or some weird spike happens, um, it, it doesn't technically need to adjust. I don't want it jumping the resolution around and frame rate and all that on me. I want it to stay a smooth 108060 if possible. And this, this is just one game as an example. Um, I have a lot of good experience with a lot of games on here, even like Destiny 2. Um, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, games like that run fantastic on GeForce Now. And remember, Epic and Ubisoft, they are fully backing the service, so you're going to see a lot of their games uh, on here, and you already do. Also, there's a mega sale in the Epic Store right now, so if you're looking to pick up Control uh, or anything from there, they have a up to 75% off sale going on in the Epic Store today, and like I had mentioned earlier, grab your free GTA 5 uh, if you don't happen to already own that game. I owned it on Xbox but not PC, so I grabbed mine today, and I'll be able to add it to my uh, game testing list without having to buy it, so that's pretty great. All right, guys, I think that's just about going to wrap it up. So we've got 18 new games dropped um, on GeForce Now. They may not be new games, but they're new to GeForce Now. A couple of them are newer, like Mega Baseball. Um, and you can see here this service works well on a lot of devices, but it's especially working really well on this Lenovo, um, this new laptop here. So I just thought it would be nice to showcase that. Um, I hope the looking at the screen helped you out a little bit and watching this um watching this GeForce Now gameplay here, you can see how well and how smooth this stream is and how well everything's working. So thanks a lot, guys, for uh, coming to check out this video. Thank you to everyone who's been subscribing. Um, I've gained hundreds of subscribers the past week um, because of this laptop and the videos I've been putting out. Um, I'm trying to put a lot of work into it. So thank you to everyone who's been subbing and commenting and liking and really being part of the community here. It's fantastic. And I'm looking forward to building it bigger and bigger with a lot of great people. So I really appreciate that. So with that in mind, if you haven't, click that subscribe button and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you'll know when I drop new videos. Give this video a thumbs up if you would. It really helps. And feel free to leave me your comment below. All right, thanks a lot, and I will see you in the next video.